In this class number 2 we are going to talk about the refrigerant R410A and its work pressures. Let's start by saying that the main use of R410A is in air conditioning systems, air conditioning and chiller. In these equipment the work temperature in the evaporator is about 5 degrees Celsius, about 41 degrees Fahrenheit. For this temperature value, the pressure in the evaporator that must mark the low pressure gauge with the equipment on is about 8.27 bar or its equivalent in 121.63 pounds psi, that would be in low. In the upper part, with an average ambient temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, the pressure that will mark the high pressure gauge is 22.63 bar, that is equivalent to about 332.75 psi pressure gauge that is in the upper part. When the equipment is off, there is a stabilization of the pressures, we no longer have low pressure or high pressure, but we have a single pressure because there is no suction or discharge in the compressor. For an ambient temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, the pressure that should mark the two pressure gauges is 17.5 bar, equivalent to about 257 psi. These are the main work pressures of our 410A. As for the gas as its properties, we can say that it is a gas formed by the mixture of two gases, it is not a gas of a single component but of two components. It is formed with the sum of our 125 and a 50% plus our 32 and a 50%. Two components form the R410A. The fact of having our 125 has a problem, it is the global heating power, the high global heating power. All gases that have our 125 will tend to have a high GWP, in this case for the R410A is 2088. Their 32 lowers the value a little, but the fact of having our 125 already puts it above 1500, which is the value of many environmental limitations, it would be above because it has a value of 2088. We can say that the oil that we are going to see with which we are going to work the R410A is the PoE type oil. By having our 125 we guarantee a very good visibility. The R125 has very good visibility, it mixes very well with the PoE oil. By having that component, that guarantees us that we will not have problems with the oil return. If we compare the R410A with R32 only, as a gas only, we can say that the R125 has more visibility than the R32. That is why the R410A has less problem for the oil return when compared to the R32. The Compressor Discharge Temperature The coolant enters the compressor at low pressure and exits at high pressure. And the temperature is a very important factor for the durability of the compressor. In this case we can say that its temperatures are quite acceptable although it has a 32. The R32 is a gas that has the drawback of generating high discharge temperatures. So we can say that the normal discharge temperatures of the R410A are close to 80 degrees Celsius. Although if we compare them with the R32 they are very low because the R32 is going to be above 100 degrees Celsius. And here we are going to have 80 degrees Celsius. That is, we are having a lower temperature which is very beneficial for maintaining the viscosity of the oil in the discharge. The R410A load, we are going to talk about the load, we can say that its cooling capacity is quite good. It generates COP, quite acceptable performance coefficients for air conditioning. But we cannot use the R410A, we should not use it at lower temperatures. We should not lower it from 0 degrees Celsius. Because the R32, 
As it has a 50% in its composition, it will generate temperatures at very high discharges. So that's what limits the R410A and it's the reason why we're not going to see coolers and refrigerators with R410A. Because we would have a fairly high temperature. As for the discharge, that would be the main feature of the R410A. Considering that as it is a gas generated by two gases, by the mixture of two gases, it must always be loaded in a liquid phase. So as not to have problems with a gas being in disproportion with respect to the other. We always have to have 50% and 50%. So see you in the next class of this course on refrigerant gases. Entonces nos vemos en la próxima clase de este curso de gases refrigerantes.